welcome back to SRB Gaming. This is KSP Exploration Series, Episode 5. Uh, today we will be launching one of my first single stage to orbits, actually. It was... Yeah, it was intended that way. This is a two stage to minimus launcher. Single stage to orbit. The, sing the first stage actually gets you all the way almost to a minimus intercept, a couple hundred meters per second delta V required to get past that. Um, this is a two-stage rocket, is known as the Minimus Surface Lander, or MSL for short. The MSL, like the CTV-4, is for uh, orbital transfer, is my standard uh, Kerbal transportation craft on the small scale to the new Minimus Frontier Ground base. And Frontier Ground was launched in Episode 4, so if you'd like to see that, please go back and watch that. It'll help what you're seeing in this one, so you know what I'm doing. So I'll describe the launch vehicle first. We have the two-engine... Uh, thrust uh, booster, very powerful. Um, that gets us again all the way to halfway halfway distance wise, over halfway uh, delta V wise to a minimus intercept. And then the second and final stage is a small lander and this is the actual MSL vehicle. This is a non-reusable SSTO as in it does not return to the surface. Um, future versions probably will uh, with parachutes attached or maybe even a SpaceX type landing but I doubt that. So uh, anyway, the second stage is the actual MSL. It is a single Kerbal pod, no docking ports, no parachutes, I'll tell you why later. Two ring-shaped, uh, four ring-shaped fuel tanks, a small spark engine, which is the tiny Rockamax engine renamed, and uh, three landing legs. Again, it carries one Kerbal, and uh, that is pretty much all. It oh, it has two solar panels for SAS charging as well. And its, it's, it's purpose is a uh, crew transport to the Frontier Ground Base. So uh, the average MSL mission, as this is a standardized craft, it will be used again, is to uh, bring a Kerbal to the Frontier Base, that Kerbal will load off, an old Kerbal will get back on, and then the MSL can fly to the Frontier Station and not dock, but uh, break next to it, and then the Kerbal can fly to the station and begin to stay. Uh, once a CTV-4 arrives, or possibly a Sky Chaser in the future, uh, those are my standardized launch vehicles. Sky Chaser is an orbital space plane. CTV-4 is a uh, three Kerbal transportation craft. You'll see those. In, you saw those in the old videos if you watched. Uh, again, um, once one of those arrives at the Frontier Station around Minmus, they can bring the Kerbals back to Kerbin for a new mission, and uh, that will happen rather commonly because need to. Uh, the CTV-4 is capable of bringing new modules. The uh, Sky Chaser, not so much. In fact, the Sky Chaser is only actually one Kerbal. The Sky Chaser is more of a bring one, take one. The CTV-4 can actually take a large mount back. So, the Minimus Ground Base is based in... Um, ground Frontier Base. It's based in the flats, one of the larger flats on Minmus. This is the area where it is sea level and almost completely flat. It is very near the ridge. You can see it from the base. It's not far at all makes for some great views. I actually very much like the location, but uh, unfortunately due to the 1.0.1 bug fix update, which is, it, it fixed a lot of important bugs, and Squad has really been, it's great that they got an update out so fast, uh, like heat shields and thermal stuff. Um, the drills no longer overheat on the Frontier Ground Base, but what little resources we had in the flats, I was willing to take because it was worth it to land in the flats, it's easier to resupply. Uh, what little resources we had are now at zero. I cannot mine anything else. The concentration is to zero. However, the uh, tops of the plateaus have extremely high concentration of resources, relatively speaking, so I'm probably going to need to fly uh, frontier ground uh, into the plateau, into the mountains of Minmus, and uh, so we can start the drilling again. Thankfully, we have an engineer now. Uh, interestingly, well, let me give you the specific mission details of the first MSL launch. Uh, the uh, Minmus Frontier Ground Base brought two Kerbals, uh, Ernica Kerman, Kerman, which was a pilot. Uh, that Kerbal was the first Sky Chaser pilot, so we do want to keep that one. They have a history. And the second one was a first flight of an Engineer Kerbal. Now, we want engineers only in bases because engineers are, can operate the drills at higher efficiency. But we needed uh, the pilot to actually fly the ship more efficiently. So, um... They, they were at the station. This MSL is bringing a new, a new uh, engineer Kerbal, and um, that will land. We don't need the extra maneuvering because it's fairly easy to fly such a small craft as opposed to a base, easier to land, easier to turn. 
Anyway, the MSL landed about a kilometer away, and then another suborbital hop brought it about two brought it about 200 meters from the um, within 200 meters of the frontier ground base. And uh, then the engineer hops out, has a nice little jog across the minimus surface over to uh, frontier ground, and uh, Ernica Kerman gets out and goes to the MSL. After the MSL is all loaded up, it will fly up into orbit and can get all the way to the space station before running out of most of its fuel. Once at the space station, it does not dock. This is not meant to return to Kerbin or dock um, because the ports will be too big. Instead, the Kerbal will fly out and into the space station, and then a CTV-4 can come pick it up. Uh, future versions of this MSL will include a junior docking port. However, I will not do that until a module is applied to the frontier station that uh, allows for junior docking ports. At this point it only supports one uh, normal sized docking port, so I will need to send an adapter. Um, MSLs will not be used for resource transport to the station. I will need to derive a new craft for that. Uh, probably based off a larger MSL, but yeah, uh, that will be used for transporting ore. Oh, update on the Osprey Mining Probe. I think I already told you, but last video, if I didn't, Osprey Mining Probe, uh, unmanned mining probe, didn't have enough heat radiation, it couldn't mine without overheating, so it's a failed mission. I'm going to have to redesign that. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first mission of the standardized MSL transport craft, and um, I will see you next time for Exploration Episode 4. And uh, I got some ideas in mind, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and comment if you have any suggestions. Thanks for watching.